Hi everyone, Hot Wheels Collector here, coming to you with another Hot Wheels haul. This time it's from Walmart. I got a couple of new Hot Wheels to show you. Uh, well, one Hot Wheels, the rest are on Matchboxes, but they were a pretty cool series. Um, I found a 1968 Dodge Charger. This is part of the Hot Wheels Muscle series, I'm guessing. I don't know what series this is from, but it comes with multiple other cars as well. But this was the only one that was on the shelf, so... I didn't find any other ones. If I did, I would have collected them. It comes in the series. It comes with a Ford Fairlight, Fairlane, a uh, Mercury Kruger, or wait, no, that's a Mustang. Sorry, uh, Pontiac Firebird. It does come with a Mercury Kruger. So wrong cars. And then the Dodge Charger, a what's that say? Mercury Kruger. Eliminator, a 70 Buick GT GSX, and a Pontiac GTO Judge. So they're all pretty cool looking uh, cars, but this is the only one that I found was the 69 Dodge Charger. So I liked it and I picked it up because it was actually a really cool design on it too. So let's open up and take a closer look. When you take it out of the packaging, you can notice that it has a gray body color and then it has black and red stripes going up the side. It also has the same black and red stripes going up the hood as well. It has a red interior with five spoke rims, chrome front end, and chrome tail end as well. So no painted on headlights or taillights to it, but overall, pretty cool looking Dodge Charger. The next one is a different series. This is called Muscle our matchbox muscle i'm gonna try to do these in order i have five out of six vehicles here so let's see what order does it go in all right so that's number three i should have had this in order before i did it so give me one second oh, that's number six it's number one number two number three Yeah, I got five out of six. I did not find the uh, 69 Camaro S36 convertible with this series, but I got everyone else. So the first one we got here is a Ford Mustang. This is a 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe. It looks like a factory stock model for a muscle car. So let's take out the package and take a look at it. I got, when I saw these at Walmart, I was like really happy to see them. So I was like, cool that they came out with a whole muscle series for Matchbox version cars. So it, you can see that it has the headlights on this Mustang and it also has the taillights as well. And it has nice uh, black five spoke rims on the side and it has a nice gray interior as well. It's actually a very clean Mustang for a white Mustang. The only thing that I would wish that they would have had on here would have been like stripes going up the hood. Just to give it a little bit more detail. But other than that, it's actually a really nice car. I mean, I would love to see it if they were to repaint this. Have it still white, but then have like the two blue racing stripes going up the hood. It would actually be really cool too. But overall, pretty cool looking Mustang. Number... Two of the six of series is a 2020 Corvette C8. This one's in orange. So let's take it out of the packaging and take a closer look. I know that there's a lot of people that say that they don't really like the new Corvette, that they think it's too sporty. But for me, I actually do like the new Corvette style because of the sportiness that it has to it. It gives it more of that exotic uh, mus muscle meets exotic vehicle to it. So here's the front end of it. Uh, it looks like the black paint is a little bit worn, but that's just straight out of packaging how this is right here. It has the headlights and the uh, Chevy logo on the hood. You know, it has a full-on taillights and 
Corvette name and a license plate on the back. This is overall a pretty cool looking Corvette. So I'm happy I found that one. The next one we got is number three of six of the series. This is a 2018 Dodge Charger. I've always been collecting the Dodge Chargers whenever um, Matchbox comes out with them because I like the version of it and I also like collecting them. So let's take out a package and take a close look at this one. See if it's any different from, from the regular models that usually come out. I think this might be just uh, the regular model just brought into the series because it looks exactly the same as the main model. It is exactly the same as the main model. There's no differential between this one and the one that they have on the main line for it. But overall, it's still a very cool looking, clean cut Dodge Charger. I like it that it has the headlights and the fog lights in the front. It has the taillights in the back and it has five spoke rims on it as well. So it's a very cool, clean Dodge Charger. The next one we got, we didn't get number four of the series. So we're skipping to number five of the series, which is a 1965 Ford Mustang GT. Let's take out the packaging, take a closer look at this one. Okay, so after removing it from the packaging, I noticed that it has a red stripe going up the side there, or it could be an orange stripe. Yeah, that is orange, it's not red. These are orange stripes. They almost look red, but they're actually orange. And no headlights, no front logo or anything on there, and no taillights in the back, but overall pretty clean looking Mustang for a fastback uh, Mustang. So I like it. It's another card to add to the collection. And then the last one we have for this series, and I'll try to keep my eyes open to find that uh, Camaro, but I'm having no luck with it, is the uh, 1970 Plymouth Cuda. So let's open up and take a closer look. Now also we'll keep my eyes open if I find any more of this series as well. Let's see if there is any more of those they might put out another box i don't know but i'll check the next time i go to walmart and see if they have them but for the uh, plymouth cuda it's in a yellow paint and the headlights are not painted on but yellow exterior no tail lights painted on either, but it does have a great coloring to the back. It looks like the whole entire bonnet plate is connected to the back. And it has a black interior to it. So overall, pretty cool looking Hemikuda. I would wish that they would have had, because this was supposed to be a special class, I wish that they would have painted on the headlights, at least on these. And done a little bit more better with the paint, other than keeping them just plain. Because, I mean, they put stripes on the old Mustang, but they didn't put any detailing on any of the other cars other than the plain detailing but overall i like the muscle series that matchbox came out with and hopefully if you like what you've seen we'd like to see more videos like this i'm sorry that my commentary for this video was a little bit disappointing but i have to be honest about what i see and i wish i would have seen a little bit better but other than that i like what i got and if you like what you've seen we'd like to see more videos like this hit the heart button and see if and I'll be back with new videos here soon. Till next time. Bye.